Hi guys, I'm Stuart, he's Alan, and this is Outdoor Basics. And you shouldn't have tried any of this stuff at home. Hi guys, Stuart and Alan here for Outdoor Basics and today we are going to talk about this beast the Silky Big Boy Outback Edition Absolutely awesome bit of kit I'm really this is the first Silky saw that I've, I've purchased I've used a few that other people have had they've gave me a shot and I was always like, my God, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. But the price always made me a bit nervous. and Because I was always, if I'm honest, like, I was always super happy with this wee thing. My um, backhoe expert has never seen me wrong. And I really, really like it. And I'm still, it just slots in my pocket and it's great. But I decided we're doing a lot more stuff around our camp. We're starting to build our camp up. We're maybe going to run a few courses. So I wanted to just try some different bits of, bits of kit um, to make life easier, building the camp up and stuff like that. And Silky just kept coming up and coming up and coming up. And I just thought, you know what, I'm going to go for it when I seen this Silky uh, Outback Edition. So let's just get it out. So obviously get the two different lock positions, which is awesome for different type of, kind of hand positions when we're cutting, which is fantastic. Um, What's really cool about this is it's got a nickel tin coating on the blade and the, the kind of metal work of it which again adds a wee bit of corrosion resistance um, and it's just a fantastic It looks fantastic and they say, Silky say, it, add, it reduces glare and all that sort of stuff for tactical operations or hunting which is if you're out and about maybe something to consider um, and it's got this kind of composite wood glue composite handle I don't really know what it was. Um, what I'll do is, is now Alan will bang up. It's obviously Japanese steel. Um, Alan will bang up what the steel is, what the handle's made of, the nickel tin, the length, size, specific specifications. Alan will bang all that up now. Cool. Because um, I don't really want to talk about all that. I want to go into what the saw can actually do. Um, so yeah. I'm going to, obviously this is a pull saw, this is, it's not the first pull saw I've had, I had a Fiskars, oh god I can't remember the name, some form of Fiskars that was a pull saw and that was a great bit of kit, um, so yeah, I really like this because I can double hand it as well for bigger wood um, if I had to and I can also go back, it's got that wee kind of pinky ramp there, so let's go for it, let's make an inaugural cut with it, um, this is deadfall this has been down for the last few years. So what I'm actually going to do is a one saw fire. Um, I'm going to, there's a fire method that we've used once or twice re recently um, from Moss Kohansky. I've seen him in one of his videos where he talked about using a piece of kit or doing things in an unconventional way. And I just thought it was really, really cool. So I'm going to show you uh, the unconventional fire lay that Moss used in the video. And I'm going to do it all with just my saw. Cool, so here we go. And obviously it cuts on the pull, so I'll pull light to let it bite in, slide through. I'm not really having to put any effort into it, to be honest, it's uh, doing all the work itself. Even when I switched to that position, that was much better. Let's see. Wow. You can see there how clean the cut is. Ow. Zero effort in that whatsoever. going to take ever so slightly a bit of getting used to because obviously I've been using the backhoe for so so long um, 
and chew all the silky ninjas, jump on and tell me, oh, you do it like this and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, cool. I'll get to it. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm really, really enjoying it so far. Um, it's really easy to use, man. I debated the size to go for, and I got it from a uh, Ray Mears uh, Woodloss shop, um, and I, 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 I asked for them to email me when it was in stock, and they emailed me at, at like nine nine thirty, I think it was, on Thursday morning, and I just went, oh, do you know what, I'm just going to go for it, and I went for it and bought it. Um, and then I got it the next day, pretty much at the same time, which was crazy. So that the service for the, the Ray Mears shop was absolutely fantastic. And then for there, I checked if they had any left and they'd sold out. So I'm glad I went for it when I did. Um, no effort in it at all, man. It's just gliding. I think... For me as well, I should have really been on the other side of that. I'm going to look at a pocket boy maybe. Um, yeah, very impressive. <laughs> it's mental. That's uh, it's definitely. It's just that it's impressive. Definitely, definitely impressive. Coming through, it really is. No bother whatsoever. No bother. Impressive, very impressive bit of kit. I'm not saying I should have bought one sooner, but I don't think I would have been disappointed whenever I did. The cuts are so smooth as well. So smooth. I'll maybe do a wee comparison. I know it's been done a thousand times before, but I mean, look at that. Fantastic. I think what I will do is I'll do maybe a wee comparison between three or four saws that I think that are all good saws um, to suit different budgets. Um, and I'll give some opinions on them, um, what I think of them. So yeah, cool, moving on. I wanted to make myself a wee coaster. <laughs> Look at it. So smooth. Cool. So smooth cuts. Look at that. Very cool. Very, very cool. Hi guys. So yeah, this is what I want to talk about now. Um, in Moz's video, he talked about doing things in an unconventional way. So for example, rather than starting for your smalls in your fire lay and working your way up, Get your big stuff on the bottom, make up this kind of bird's nest thing here and then get that on top and that'll burn down. So basically what this is, is a big pile of dead grass with loads of like, your smalls tied round it with a, a kind of grass lanyard. Um, when I look at that there, in the video I can't remember how Moore's done it, um, how he lit it, I don't know man, probably we just magic but um i'm gonna try it something uh, i'm gonna try it with some uh, char cloth that i made so that i can use my striker um so it's about a char cloth there and that was just made out of some uh, 
some of my daughters, old denims, my daughters go through clothes like nobody's business, they wear it once and then that's it, it's no longer cool so they don't, they don't bother about it anymore. So, yeah, um, it's high carbon Japanese steel and it should strike a, ther or a ferro rod should go on it, very, very cool. I'm using the end there um, and the pull method there. Oh, that was pretty rubbish. There we go. Much better. So that went on that, I think it, yeah it has, yeah. There we go, that's going straight away. Just try not to crush it up on itself there. Kind of getting in my way. Boom. So I'll just let that catch, start to spread nice and quick. There we go. Fire likes to climb. See that it's starting to burn there. I'll just let that start to take hold. I just set this on top of that pile and that will catch itself there and burn down on top of the logs and give me a fantastic kind of coal bed. Um, just a, an unconventional way of doing it. Um, I just thought it was a really cool way to tie in showing an, a, an option. So yeah, I cut all that wood um, using my Silky Big Boy Outback 2000 and then gathered all of the the smalls and the simples on their own and then even using my silky to strike my ferro rod which yeah that throws some heat and no didn't even affect the tin coating on it so yeah that'll burn away and that's just a good opportunity that'll just keep smouldering and then catch and burn right down onto those logs um, and we'll have a good coal bed. We're making a big scran tonight, we're going to make a big massive pot mess for everybody. I think some people call it an all-in, where it all, everything goes in one pot, so we want a decent fire to do it. That fire will be fully extinguished, i.e. loads of water will go into it, the ground will be overturned to ensure that there's no, it's not burned down into any roots or anything like that. Rest assured, taking care of the outdoors and taking care of the land that we use is absolutely essential. So yeah, if you like what we're doing, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe and all that good sound and stuff. So yeah, Silky Big Boy. Absolutely excellent bit of kit. Really impressed. As I said, Alan, I've had all the specs up and stuff like that. And then uh, I'll give you a kind of usage video of it maybe in a year or so, once I've used it for a year. But an initial review is it's absolutely awesome. It's just going to take me a bit of time to get used to the pull cuts, different positions for different cutting angles and stuff like that. So yeah, see you on the flip side, as always, I've been Stuart, he's been Aaron, yous have been awesome, subscribe, Outdoor Basics, for when the basics matter, check that out. Hi guys, um, add-on, we decided to just move it into our, our actual fire pit because um, our fire pit was burning away when we done the demonstration um, and we decided to just move everything across so I donned my, my heavy gloves and just went for it and moved it all across and it's still burning absolutely outstanding 
so the grass is all burnt away, the sticks are going, it's burning down. And it was just to say, Moore said the kind of main thing was with the five logs, three in the bottom, two in the top. He found that the perfect kind of width apart was a finger apart um, to allow the kind of transfer of heat, oxygen, um, allow the flame to climb, and it's just massively effective. Um, that's abs that absolutely kind of upside downy fire esque. Um, absolutely outstanding we we kind of fire lay method and I'm loving the, the uh, silky big boy outstanding and the logs are already catching under here you can see the flames through the gap there so yeah you can see the, the flames climbing through the gaps in the logs with my handy bellows pointer just there um, so yeah it's starting to burn down burning down perfect there really really Gucci fire method like it a lot. Sweet.